Header bidding is a programmatic technology that publishers use to get the most out of their premium inventory and ensure that the highest paying bid is served by collecting programmatic bids on the publisher's web page before making the ad request to Google Ad Manager. In Ad Manager, header bidding line items are traditionally set up as price priority, but an update from Google now gives publishers an alternative solution, integrating header bidding in yield groups. What are the advantages of choosing to incorporate header bidding demand directly in GAM as yield groups instead of the traditional setup? First, the overall process of setting up header bidding is made much simpler. Second, it improves header bidding performance analysis as reporting is now consolidated and discrepancies are reduced across all demand channels. Last but not the least, there is a chance that header bidding performance will be better as it utilizes granular bidding using actual bid amounts instead of price priority line items. So how does it all work? First of all, you must own or have access to a Google Ad Manager 360 account as header bidding in yield groups is currently only supported in GAM 360. Publishers who want to test this must also use the pre-bid wrapper and use standard implementation. What is a standard implementation of the pre-bid wrapper? While most pre-bid implementations are supported by this new feature, there are certain customizations that some publishers integrate into the wrapper that could prevent GAM from properly facilitating header bidding and complete ad serving. We'll include additional resources in the description box below. These resources include parameters that must be met for header bidding to run in yield groups. Aside from the pre-bid wrapper, another requirement is for publishers to of course use a GPT or Google Publisher tag on the website. As of now, only web inventory and the banner or display ad format are supported. There is no need to modify your Google Publisher tags after implementing your pre-bid wrapper. GPT will collect the necessary data directly from the wrapper. Now to actually enable header bidding in yield groups, publishers must set up at least one yield group with one or more pre-bid yield partners that support header bidding. The process of enabling a yield group is similar to the process of enabling open bidding. Once the this is done, enable header bidding for an ad network by going to GAM, click on Delivery, and go to Bidders. Go to the Header Bidding section and select New Bidder. Search for your header bidding partner and you'll see Enable Header Bidding right there. Clicking on Continue enables header bidding for that ad network. For actual bids to be accepted and processed, publishers must again add the bidder to an active yield group. This new feature is not automatically enabled in GAM and is only optional for publishers to use. If you are currently running header bidding in GAM through price priority line items, those will still continue to work. In fact, you can run both setups in parallel if desired. The impressions recorded will not be counted twice. If a header bidding ad network is competing through a yield group and is also set up through price priority, the price priority line item will be removed from the bidding process as it is redundant and no longer necessary. Leaving your price priority header bidding line items running also means that these will continue to work in case header bidding yield groups stop working due to a misconfiguration. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tip. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks, we'll catch you next time.